Okay, so that's both the battery uh, extensions to penthouse made. Found these on Amazon. Weird. Can't have enough insulation. So there the uh, to mimic the battery posts. So I'll thread through the chassis. And then you've got the, the battery terminals here. So now I'll uh, cut out some bigger holes here for the battery cover. Sorry, the, the terminal covers. And then prep that for final fitting. All right, so knowing me, this probably won't come apart again. So I'm trying to make things nice before it all goes in properly. So some abrasive sleeve protection for the main power leads. And I've cut some holes in this, this pretty chunky um, sound insulation panel um, to cut down on motor noise, if there is much, but a lot easier to do now than later. Getting ready for everything else, just plugging things in. I've put the camera back in there. I've got some um, electrical contact lube for dissimilar metals. So obviously I've got brass and aluminium there at least, and I think in a, f a few other places. So more protection the better. I don't want corrosion growing in there. That's coming together nicely. So that's the uh, PCS. I've got to do the coolant pipes. Got everything plugged in. Coolant and the motor connector, the HVAC. Nicely tucked up out of the way. I'll tidy up all this wiring at some point. But first job is to get it all working again. That's the new pyro cover assembled. Still got to glue the, the middle bits together. And I've printed out some uh, stronger battery covers with a slight design tweak as well. There you go, so that's pretty much all the penthouse internals back on and the coolant pipes uh, and over there for the other end. A couple of the connectors on the, the lid obviously connect into these modules. Um, and there are some interlock um, connections that need to be done as well. Let's put the screen back on. Uh, yeah. Right, my first time using one of these vac fill kits. I've got it down to the bottom of the green and it's looking nice and stable, which is a relief, no leaks. So I think I'll leave it a bit longer before I uh, hook it up to the coolant and refill. And refilling. I'm throttling it a bit just to take it easy. But it seems to be sucking it all up nicely. Just about to see the needle dropping as it fills up. Yeah, I think it's just about stopped. Didn't think I'd do have coolant left, but obviously all my lines are shorter. So it's filled it up to the tank, to that level. So I'll just, well actually, it's only just below nominal. So that's a pretty good result, I think. So I can take this off, manually top it up, and that should be job done. Okay, so I didn't get the uh, easy start off when it, it booted back up. Um, I've managed to get rid of most of the, um, well, a few of the unnecessary faults. Um, so the main ones I'm left with are this BMS 151. Um, all these other just basic things disconnected. The contactors aren't closing. Um, and this BMS 35. So from what I've seen online, that is normally from a bad 12 volt battery. And considering it was sat in a yard and then it's been just sat here for three months, so probably five, six months. 
um, of not really doing anything. It's not a surprise, so that's my next try. But going through the, um, the bits and bobs, see it just gives a blank error with the high volt battery. So going through, that's that one. Charging. The high voltage interlock is actually fine when you force it to test. Um, it's just inactive at the moment. Um, okay, so obviously it's not powered on. All the contactors. Um, and it's not connecting obviously to the, the drive unit because it's not in a high power state. Um, other bits, the cooling system is now all happy. It's running around. Um, once I started it back up, it did run for a while and um, want a bit of extra coolant. So I did end up using all the original coolant plus half the, um, the five litre um, bottle I bought just in case. That seems okay. Um, and, distribution. and there you go. So it, it kind of aligns. It's reading below 12 volts. I know it, it looks like it's, it's drawing 20 amps, which would pull it down a bit. But I've had it on the um, just a trickle charger, conditioning trickle charger all night, and it's still not showing green. So. Yeah, 12 volt battery next before I have to go checking isolation faults. Okay, new battery installed. I wasn't hopeful, but it was showing all the same errors as before. Um, uh, where was it? HV battery, and I did a high voltage BMS reset and it all seems happy again. Well, as happy as it can be with um, all the bits still disconnected. Here we go. We have a gold wing chassis. 